Hi, my name is Dean Stickler with Golden Paintworks. This is the first in a series of three videos on glazing mediums. In this video, I'll go over the various properties of the glazing mediums offered by Golden Paintworks, glazing medium, sheer glazing medium, and glazing gel. Now, glazing mediums are the workhorses of decorative painting. They're used to create a visual texture over a large area, either with color or a neutral hue. The visual texture is made by the difference of value between two layers of color, where the top color is a transparent glaze. The value difference is, for example, using a darker color over a lighter color, or vice versa. You can see it in the parchment finish behind me, where I used a darker glaze over a light paint. Wall glazing techniques, such as ragging, bagging, portage, and parchment finishes are just a few of the thousand ways you can use glazes to beautify large area surfaces. On the wall behind me are a few examples of finishes I've made with glazing mediums. A stencil with a metallic overlay, marbling, wood graining, the parchment finishes, strie, and a weave. Just a few of the many finishes you can make with glaze. With any of these techniques or methods, it's important first to understand the materials so you can adjust them according to your needs. We'll talk first about the two fluid mediums and I'll address the glazing gel in another video. A glaze without color is called a medium. It doesn't become a glaze until you add color to it. So these are tools ready to go to work. Now glazing medium is a heavier body glaze that was developed for techniques where the impression of a tool is left without any more manipulation. This is an example of a technique called frottage, where blank paper is pressed down into the glaze to leave an impression. Glazing medium is ideal for this because its heavier body will not melt or sag while drying. These are other examples of impression textures I've made using glazing medium, using a, a, a variety of tools such as rags, plastic bags, sponges, steel wool, terry cloth, etc. Sheer glazing medium was developed for finer manipulation where the glaze can be applied and worked for several minutes. It has more working time than glazing medium does, but it does have a tendency to melt and run if applied too thickly or in a humid environment. This is an example of creating a parchment finish using a thin application of sheer glazing medium and removing some of, some of it with cotton cheesecloth. As you can see, it's easy to blend away any tool marks because of the long working time, it's uh, very thin consistency and the softness of his working ability. In the other two videos on glazing mediums, I'll share the details of these and other techniques. The concept of working time is a complicated one to nail down. You'll probably not understand the importance until you actually try to create a seamless finish on a large wall or other surface. Having plenty of working time is very important in creating a beautiful finish so that you're not feeling rushed. Our other videos will show you better examples. Now, water-based glazes go through two stages when drying. Number one, the glaze dries to set through evaporation in the first 15 to 60 minutes after application. Then two, there is a chemical set to hardness over a period of days. Evaporation is the key to working time with water-based glazes. Temperature, humidity, and porosity of the base surface are the three main criteria you want to think about when you're working with a colored glaze. Working on a well-sealed surface is very important. Any place where the surface is a little more absorbent, such as a recent wall patch with only one coat of paint on it and no primer, will grab onto the glaze and leave a dark spot where the patch was.
Humidity or lack of it will affect the working time even more than temperature. A hot, humid day will give you lots of working time, while a cold winter day with gas, fire, dry heat will make the glaze set up quickly. Now, glazing mediums do not become proper glazes until you add color to them. Otherwise, they are just extremely slow drying clear coats. Conversely, the clear top coat can be considered a fast drying glaze when colored. Here I'm going to add color to both glazing medium and clear top coat to make two types of glazes. A fast drying glaze and a slow drying glaze. Here I'm going to pour out a half a cup of each. And I always make sure to wipe the rim. In a glazing medium, you always want to give it a good shake with your finger on the cap. And also pour out a half a cup. The glazing medium itself dries to a matte sheen, so I have the option of using either the dead flat or the satin clear top coat. Obviously, the satin clear top coat glaze will dry to a higher sheen, which is appropriate for molding. So I'm making an antiquing glaze using slow dry fluid acrylic raw umber. One teaspoon into half a cup of each product. The clear top coat will look like it's coloring a little bit uh, uh, on a milky side because it has different ingredients in it with flattening agents and different types of resin, but they will both dry out to be just about exactly the same. All the products from Golden Paintworks are compatible and intermixable. If you want the glaze to dry faster, substitute some clear top coat for the glaze. For example, if you're working on a small area and want the glaze to dry quickly, just color the, tier, uh, the clear top coat the same as you would the glaze and work away. Another example, if the glaze is not drying quickly enough or is crawling, sagging, etc., make a cup of colored glaze uh, with a glazing medium, then make another cup of glaze using a uh, clear top coat. Intermix the two to find the right balance until the glaze either stops running or it stops taking too long to dry. The same idea is with the two glazes, sheer and glazing medium. If you need more working time, add colored sheer glaze into the colored glazing medium. So in summary, add clear top coat to speed up the drying time of a glaze or add sheer glaze to slow down the drying time of your colored glaze. Golden Paintworks Slow Dry Fluid Acrylics are an excellent way to color glazes and they're available in 14 different pigments. They do not speed up the drying time of the mediums because they are slow dry themselves. They're a great way uh, to make up your own antiquing glaze with raw umber and yellow oxide, add a little bit of uh, red to it if you want. But it does take a rudimentary knowledge of color to work with these type of pigments. So, an easier way to do that would be to use house paint. House paints are available in a wide variety of colors, so picking a color and keeping it consistent is easy using color cards or a fan deck. Paints dry fast and glazing mediums dry slow, so you want to use the least amount of paint you can. Four parts glazing medium to one part paint is the limit that I generally want to use in most cases, and one to six or one to eight are more ideal. An 8 to 1 ratio, for example, is 1 cup paint to 2 quarts glazing medium. That's 8 ounces of paint to 64 ounces of glazing medium. 64 divided by 8 is 8. 8 to 1 ratio. Golden Paintworks is committed to supply artists and decorative painters with quality products and tools you can use to create beautiful finishes for architecture and interior decoration. Please check out our other videos on glazing and other really cool product applications. And remember, you're only limited by your imagination.